You own a newly born German Shepherd. Suppose the dog weigh 1 kilogram at birth. You have known your friend that the monthly average weight gained by the dog is 5 kilograms. If the rate of increase of the dog's weight every month is constant, determine the equation that will describe the dog's weight, predict the dog's weight after 3 months using mathematical equation and graphical representation. Hi everyone, this is Teacher Mel and today we are going to solve problems involving linear functions. Okay, our first step is we need to write the given information. Isusulat natin yung mga given information based sa ating problem. The dog's weight is 1 kilogram at birth and then ang kanyang monthly average weight ay nagigain siya ng 5 kilograms. Now, for step number 2, kailangan natin i-identify ang independent and the dependent variable. Okay, so independent variable is the number of months. Okay, ang dependent naman natin dito ay dog's weight. Bakit ang ating dependent is dog's weight? Kasi yung weight ng dog is nakadepende sa number of months. Let's say, kung at birth, di 1 kilogram after a month, nadagdagan siya ng 5 kilograms, edi after a month, naging 6 kilograms. So, yung weight ng dog is nakadepende sa number of months. Kaya, ang ating dependent variable is the dog's weight and our independent variable is the number of months. If you want to review more on how to identify the independent and the dependent variable, just check the link on the description below. For step number 3, is we need to represent the unknown using a variables and then we need to complete the table. So we let x be the number of months and y be the dog's weight. And this would be our table. So ang ating x is the number of months. Ito yung independent variable natin. Ang y naman, the dog's weight, ito yung dependent variable natin. Ibig sabihin, yung value ng y nakadepende sa number of months. Based sa ating problem, ang sabi doon, at birth, so 0 yung x, ang weight ng dog ay 1. So when x is 0, y is 1. So after a month, nadagdagan ng 5 kilograms ang weight ng dog, kaya naging 6. After a month ulit, nadagdagan ng 5 kilograms, kaya naging 11. After a month ulit, nadagdagan ng 5 kilograms, kaya naging 16 na yung weight ng dog after 3 months. Okay? Next is, for step number 4, we need to identify naman the slope, m and y-intercept b, and write the equation of the line. Now, ano ibig sabihin ng slope? Alam natin na ang slope is the change in y over the change in x. Alamin natin kung ano yung change in y based sa ating table values over the change in x sa ating table values. So, from 1 naging 6, ibig sabihin yung change is 5. From 6 naging 11, yung change ay 5. From 11 naging 16, ibig sabihin yung pagbabago is 5, nadagdagan ng 5. Tingnan naman natin sa change in x. So, from 0, it becomes 1. From 1, naging 2. From 2, naging 3. Ibig sabihin, yung change in x is 1. Kaya, ang magiging sagot natin is 5 over 1. Kasi yung change in y is 5, at ang change in x is 1. And 5 over 1 is equal to 5. Now, hanapin naman natin ang y-intercept. y-intercept is at point 0, 1. Now, paano natin na-identify ang ating y-intercept? Para ma-identify natin ang ating y-intercept, given lamang ang ating table values, ang gagawin natin, titingin lang tayo sa table, and then, titingnan natin kung ano yung value ng y when x is 0. So, makikita natin sa table values natin na when x is 0, the value of y is 1. Kaya ang ating y-intercept is at point 0, 1. Kasi kung meron tayong equation 
for us to find the value of y, or the y-intercept rather, ang gagawin lang natin is we let x equal to 0 for us to find the y-intercept. Next is we need to write the equation of the line. So meron tayong y is equal to mx plus b. m is our slope and b is the y-intercept. Ano yung slope natin? 5. Ano yung y-intercept natin at 0 0.01? So b is equal to 1. Ibig sabihin, ang ating equation of the line is y is equal to 5x plus 1. For step number 5, we are going to graph our table values. So when x is 0, y is 1. When x is 1, y is 6. When x is 2, y is 11. And when x is 3, y is 16. Kaya ito po yung magiging graph natin, a straight line. Thank you everyone. Please subscribe for more math videos. If you have any questions, just comment below. Don't forget to like, share. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.